welcome to Arishtam Homebrew series. Today we are going to talk about various aspects about how to package your, uh, your brew, uh, brew in the right manner. The whole idea is that you are going to put in a lot of effort, sometimes one week, sometimes even a few months to make your perfect beverage. Now if you are not able to package it right, uh, your friends may not enjoy it. Uh, today's FMCG world is all about packaging and we are going to help you out. Today we also have Ramya with us. Ramya runs her own tra travel blog channel and she has come all the way to help us explain that how she, uh, what's the kind of various packaging that she has uh, witnessed all across through her travels and how easy it is to package it. So Ramya, so tell me about yourself. Yeah, I'm Ramya and uh, I have a travel uh, channel and if you want to can check it out for Ramya Shri S. And today I'm here at the Arishtam Homebrew House so where I'll be talking about the various packaging that I have witnessed. So yeah. Yeah. So uh, one of the simplest form of packaging would be your. Uh, you can take a glass bottle, the swing top glass bottles that are uh, that are easily available. You will see them in most of the restaurants. You can request uh, uh, request it from there, or you can buy it from the hardware store. You can uh, you can fill your brew here. After you filling it, uh, there is a silicone cap on each of these uh, uh, bottles. So this silicone cap uh, uh, ensures that the pressure is retained. You place that silicone cap, you press this and you clip it on. Clip it on. Okay. So once you clip it on, the air inside, whatever the carbon dioxide which is, which is going to be released from the fermentation cannot go outside the atmosphere and it will create a natural fizz. This fizz is what, what will make, uh, make the head of your beer or your kombucha uh, in case of a sparkling wine or champagne, what we call, it will also cause it to yeah, come out. Yeah. So this is one option. Okay. The problem with this option is, A, the seal uh, does not last for more than, three, uh, uh, more than three months. So you'll have to decarbonate after three months, so that is one problem. Secondly, these bottles are a little bit difficult and more expensive. Okay. What is really easy for you to find is these, uh, these glass bottles. You can probably go to any bar and you can pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, Ramya, did you know that you can make this kind of a seal at home? No, I didn't really know this. Yeah, can you? Uh, so I guess it's done this way. So you take the glass bottle and uh, these are caps that are available. So you just put it on and this is a bottle tamper. So you, it works yeah. the mechanism. Uh, these are these A4, uh, A4 printable stickers which are available in most of the stationery shops. You can take it, you can print it using a laser machine. Please do not use an inject machine for printing. The reason is inject the, the inks uh, bleed. So when you put in the refrigerator, bring it outside, there will be water droplets which gets formed on the bottle and in that, because of those water droplets, your color will spread out. Laser, you will have a lot of issues. There are laser printers available almost every local corner of the country. Half a teaspoon is more than sufficient. Okay, okay. So you add half a teaspoon in your brew. Okay. Uh, the brew al already would have the yeast there. Okay. So the yeast will consume this uh, the, this priming sugar and create carbon dioxide, which is required. About four to six psi is what is needed to uh, to make, which uh, which almost translates to half a teaspoon, which is about two and a half grams per pint. Do you want to see how the fizzed uh, drink looks like? Yeah, I surely would love why, to see it. So why, why don't you open this? Yeah. So this is the bottle we had carbonated earlier. Okay, we'll open this up. And you can see okay. how much of the fizz is coming out. 
So here we have taken the bottle, we have, we have filled it uh, with the brew. You can see the water, uh, there's a consistent water uh, level that we have maintained. We've stuck, uh, stuck a label to it. We, we add some priming sugar. This priming sugar is an easily digestible sugar which helps the yeast to create the fizz. Once the fizz is created, this pressure has to be retained. So for that, we use a crown cap. This is a metal crimpable, one-time use only cap, which you can use. A lot of, uh, lot of the YouTube videos talk about bottle bombs and stuff like that. Let me tell you, in the last 20 years of my experience, I have never seen a bottle explode. What often happens is this cap comes out. That's it. But the glass, today's glass technology has improved significantly. Uh, as long as the pressure is between 4 to 6 psi, you do, will not have any problem. Uh, so uh, after, uh, you place the cap like, uh, uh, capper like this. After placing the capper, you press it down and you, you lift it up. And you can see your perfectly crimped cap is ready. If you have any questions and queries, please reach out to brew at the rate and we will be happy to help you with all your fermentation needs.